guys, it's Darcy Simmer, and welcome back to Build New Crest Part 6, I believe. Today I'm working on a park, and it is the last lot in the first neighborhood of New Crest. And I wanted it, uh, it to be like, kind of like an urban looking park, you know, kind of like it was in the less, what's the word I'm looking for? Well, I just, I guess just uh, the poor part of the neighborhood, I guess where they had a set budget that's not really all that expensive to build a park so they spent most of their money on like a playground and a basketball court and that's pretty much the main things in this park because it's really all I had room for and I wanted to make like a big path going around everywhere as like a running path or something but you'll see that in just a minute and I did use a lot of the um, city living stuff I believe Probably, I don't know, or at least the basketball court and stuff is city living. I thought about maybe uh, just using terrain paints, making like a little uh, baseball field or something, but I wanted it to be actually functional, so I just put a little playground on one side and then this um, basketball court in the middle. And then here I am um, tracing out where I want the paths to go, and there's quite a few paths that like lead off into the different little paths going into the park and then I I believe I blocked them all off with like flowers and stuff like that but uh yeah we're still just scoping out the um pathways and I wanted to find like a mulch type terrain to use for the playground but unfortunately there's not one in the Sims 4 so I ended up having to use dirt which I mean, honestly, it's kind of disgusting. I don't know anyone who would play on a muddy playground, but, you know, it's all I had, and I figured, you know, since it's, uh, they've got a set budget, they didn't really want to spend too much getting in mulch and everything, so they just left it how it was, but then in the end, I do go back and cover up the mulch because I found the little, um, sugar scroll display cases that came with, um, a free update, I believe. And I wanted to use those, so I put them off to the side of the um, playground to look like, um, like you know, whenever you go to like um, a fast food restaurant or something when you were a kid, they had like the big mats everywhere, and then they had a little shelf where you could take off your shoes, you know, so that you didn't like scratch all the toys and everything, the equipment. And so that's what it looked like to me. So that's what I decided to do, and I used the rug, um, like the. I think it's meant to be like a, um, what is the word I'm looking for? Like a gym rug that you'd use in a gym. It's like puzzle pieces put together. So I used that rug and put over almost the entire playground, except in this little area over here next to the sandbox I'm building. And I wanted to do another sandbox because I did that in, I believe the last build I did for this series, the dingy duplex. And I really liked the way that the sandbox turned out. So I decided to do that again in this one. And yeah, I put a little, uh, oh, oh, it's pretty, a large seating area. And then I put these little sinks everywhere as, you know, pretending they're like, um, what are they? Uh, water fountains? I'm sorry if I sound weird. I, I, I'm getting sick. I don't know if I'm getting cold or if it's my allergies or something, but my throat's sore and I've got a stuffy nose and so I'm sorry about that. But, um, yeah, I believe, uh, yeah, now I'm just looking for a bathroom to place down which is basically one of the, I don't know if it's the exact same bathroom I used for the New Crest Shopping Center, but, or well, the shopping strip, but yeah, and you probably just heard me pull a post-it note off the wall, and that's because I put all the information on the post-it note, and I'm about to tell you what it is. So, this lot is in my gallery, and it's not too decorated, I mean, I probably could have done more to it, but I also didn't want to add too much to it, because, I mean, I did want to have some sort of like a budget. I didn't really have a budget in mind, but I did want it to be like a lower end park. Like the mayor didn't give them very much uh, money to use to build this park and they would have rather spent it in the much nicer neighborhoods. So I wanted it to kind of look like they didn't really put too much thought into it. So they don't really have a gardener. So it's got a bunch of dead plants and stuff everywhere and the nicer plants are just you know little daisies but uh this is on the 40 by 30 lot in the first neighborhood the one next to the little pond area 
which is why I didn't want to add a pond to this because there's one right next to it so uh, yeah that's why and I did give it two lot traits I gave it the quake zone trait and bracing breezes I gave it bra bracing breezes because you know I, there was gonna be people playing basketball and I wanted it to be like there was like a little jogging area which is what this brick path is all the way through it and so the bracing breezes trait will make your sims feel energized and everything and then I wanted to give it a quake zone because I believe one of the other houses in this neighborhood is has a quake zone lot trait I'm not too sure but uh yeah it'll just make your sims feel a little uneasy whenever they visit this lot which I mean if you don't like the trait then feel free to change it you know that's up to you and I did forget to add lots I mean lights to this lot which you know kind of sucks I didn't realize it until I was taking pictures and I'd already uploaded it and so um, if you want to use this lot at night you will need to add lights or you know just have your sims play in the dark you know that, that's always fun play basketball in the dark why not but um the cost of this lot came to 60,698 um, simoleons which I mean really doesn't matter to most people because you're not going to be buying a lot as your sim you'll just be visiting it but yeah it does have all the required objects so I made sure of that which is why I had to add these chess tables and picnic areas I wasn't really planning on adding that I did build this lot before but I rebuilt it because I really did not like the first one I built the first one I had like a little camping area and I did, I did have the um, basketball court on that one also and a little playground area but the playground area was really small and it only had room for the um, the pirate ship thing and then um, the basketball court was instead of using fence around it like I had planned because I didn't really like any of the fences and then um, I had the hidden objects shown on this one for whatever reason I don't remember why I was looking for something I think it was whenever I was doing the toilets or something so I turned it on for that and then I found these fences and thought they were perfect to use so I used them but um, I didn't really find them in the other one that I built so um, okay I forgot what I was talking about <laughs> I'm sorry guys I, I don't feel that good today but um, what was it? oh yeah the uh, previous lot that I built it was surrounded by like bushes and stuff like all the pathways and everything was surrounded by the same uh, just a green bush and I didn't really like the way that looked so I didn't want to upload it so I just deleted the video footage and the lot is on my gallery if you'd like to see it but I mean it's it's not great I was not happy with it so I didn't want to upload it and I did put a little toddler potty here you know in case you brought your toddlers and I don't actually know if they can use public restrooms so I put a little potty chair and just a bunch of toys in this little area that's meant to be a sandbox and unfortunately um, well I did put this little dollhouse here to make it look like it's a, a sandcastle and unfortunately uh, before I got to that area to take pictures someone had already smashed it so in the pictures the playhouse is the dollhouse is smashed so I mean that kind of sucks but it, I guess it's fine you can always repair it right and then I put the little void cutter thing there because um, I want them to have something else to do besides just play chess and play on the playground which I mean I guess is what you go to a park for but I did want it to look like you know maybe some kids had left some toys here or something <clears throat> I'm sorry I've been talking too much today but um, yeah these little stuffed animals here I put I made them like the little they're meant to be like the little um bouncy rides that toddlers play on like in uh, The Sims 3 how they have those little um, I don't know what they're called but they're like there was a bumblebee there was a pirate ship stuff like that so I wanted to use them for to uh, well pretend they're that but they're not actually usable for that and the kids probably just go up there pick them up and you know stick them somewhere else but you know that, that's what I had in mind I was originally going to use that carpet for the idea I had but it was just really colorful and it hurt my eyes and I did not like it so I went to the car the rugs and eventually I did find the thing so that's what I used um yeah it's not that one it's that one yeah so it is a base game rug I was gonna size it up but then I couldn't get them to fit right the way I wanted so I had to size them down and use them that way and unfortunately I couldn't fit them in that little area over there where the seating area is so that area is still just um, dirt 
which is unfortunate, but you know, it, it's fine. And we are coming up on the screenshots in just a bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and end the voiceover. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. I will have my origin ID and other information in the description. So if you would like to download this, download this lot, then feel free to check it out. But thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.